Hey everybody, Jess here, Key Tarot. Welcome to you all. This is a real quick general reading. I don't know who it's for or what it's about. It might be your story today and it might not be. All right, let's say a quick blessing and we'll find out. Holy Spirit, thank you for being with us here today and in every breath that we take. We ask that these messages be received by those who are meant to hear them. Amen. All righty, let me move this up here. What do we want to start with today? I'm going to start with this Marielle Tarot. Just saw the tower on the bottom of the deck. Let's just shuffle that right in there. And the death card on the bottom of the deck. All right, let's just see what comes up. Interesting. I have the Two of Wands and the Ten of Swords on its side. There's been a lot of conflict in a relationship. Um, it feels like it's kind of a new relationship. It seems like it's hard to get this off the ground somehow. Um, or it's kind of off again, on again, back and forth. Someone may be considering ending something. I've got the Queen of Wands on the bottom of the deck here. And I have the star card here. Queen of Wands is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Star is Aquarius. But I only call the zodiac signs out in case they are of significance to your story, if this, in fact, is your story. Um, do a little more. Got the Hierophant. What? Okay. Shoot. All right. Three of Swords. Okay, so I feel like I'm talking to someone here who is, um, so, all right, the Queen of Wands is someone who's very attractive, very um, creative, very driven, very powerful, very popular, very well-liked. They tell the best jokes. Um, everybody kind of wants to be around them. Um, this is someone who... feel like this is someone that you may have on your mind. Yeah. Um, and I feel like someone, oh, there it is. Someone is wanting to partner with this Queen of Wands, but I feel like they're waiting until something else has ended here. I have the Three of Swords, which is the energy of the breakup. If you watch my readings, you know, I always call it the Ben and Jerry's card of the deck because, you know, at some point comes for us all it's it can be a painful ending um with this ten of swords it feels like somebody is halfway in and halfway out of a relationship or a situation there's been a lot of conflict between i think whoever i'm reading for and their current partner um this is oh boy Um, I feel like, so the Hierophant is Taurus energy, but it can represent marriage. It can indicate like um, a, a major contract in someone's life. Um, and I feel like we have someone who's letting go of a major commitment um, because they want to partner with someone else. And I feel like they're waiting for this to be done. Somebody's made a decision here with this Eight of Cups to let go of something that they had devoted a lot of their life or their time or their energy to. And it feels like it's been very up and down, roller coaster ride, and there's been a lot of conflict here. And I don't know if the conflict is about this Queen of Wands or if that's just who this person wants to go to, who's on this other person's mind, whoever I'm reading for. I'm gonna clarify all of this in a minute with another deck. I've got the Nine of Pentacles. That is someone who is asserting their own independence. Okay, and there's the King of Wands. Again, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So I've got Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, masculine energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, feminine energy. 
Aquarius, Taurus. That's what I see so far. The Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. Ooh. Whoever I am reading for, there has been a lot of um, issues for a long time in your life. It feels like it's been one thing after another, after another, and you know, life's kind of like that, but this seems more significant for someone. And this person, whoever I'm reading for, you have had to make a major decision in your life as to which direction you wanna go, and I think you've made that decision. And I don't think you took this lightly. I don't think that this was an impulsive choice. Um, this hermit energy is someone who sat and they thought about this for, not just a long time, but maybe even four years. Yeah. And it was just too much. Ten of Wands is, um, Ten of Wands is like when everything is falling apart. Too much, too much stress, too much burden. You can't keep, keep the walls from falling in. Okay, I'm gonna put this aside. Let me get another deck. Reading is this Deviant Moon Tarot. There's the Nine of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Nicely done. Um, that's The Nine of Pentacles is the Minor Arcana of the Empress. And that's someone who, wow, recognizes that they're going to have to assert this independence if they want to align with whoever this Queen of Wands is. I have the World card here and I have the Strength card. That's someone, whoo, buddy. Um... And there's the Eight of Cups again. All right. Um, okay. This is someone who realizes they're going to have to, first of all, tell the truth about the way that they've been feeling. And also, they're going to have to take the steps that are needed, that they're guided to take here. And like I said about this hermit energy, this is not someone who took this, this made this decision lightly. Um, this is not a capricious decision. This is someone who prayed about this real hard um again this could have been a relationship that was very stressful for a very long time and i don't just mean like a couple of weeks or a couple of months because everybody goes through ups and downs in relationships that's part of it and sometimes you're gonna have good years and sometimes you're gonna have bad years that's just the truth of it but this would be like 80 percent of the years were pretty bad were pretty rough And there's the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse on top of the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. Um, talk about... I, I Honestly, whoever I'm reading for here, if you choose to leave this major commitment, it's not going to get easier for a while. Um, I feel like whatever this, let, let's find out a little bit more about this major commitment here. Um, whoever you are, I feel like the, the relationship you have been in has been very supported by your friends and your family. People have stood by the two of you. They've watched this roller coaster ride. They've cheered you on. They've tried to help you in every way, possibly financially, um, possibly just like anything they could do. You want to go to counseling? Okay, we'll stay with your kids, your dogs, your cats, whatever. We'll water the plants. We'll Whatever you need to do is what we want to do to, to help you be successful here. But something hasn't worked out well. It, it hasn't worked. And we have someone here who wants to be on their own because they have someone else on their mind that they want to partner with. And there's the tower. What was I saying when I very first picked up this other deck over here? tower is one of those moments that it's it can be kind of a shock and awe moment but once the tower is hit by this lightning or in this particular deck it looks like a ufo um once the tower is hit there's nothing you can do except for rebuild it or move to another tower right it's like everyone's jumping ship here and it feels like something has been illuminated here for someone And we got the Four of Swords, which is the energy of taking a break. It's a separation energy. You have break up, break up, break up. Walking away, walking away. 
It was just too much. It was a lot of chaos. It was a lot of conflict. It was a lot of arguing. And whoever I'm reading for, you were really on the fence about what whether to stay or to go for a really long time. And you finally come to the realization that you're gonna be healthier, you're gonna be happier on your own. And I see that we have this Wheel of Fortune twice out in the reverse. The Wheel of Fortune is Sagittarius energy, but it very much speaks to karma. It speaks to, I feel like whoever I'm reading for feels like they have been living like a real shitty Groundhog Day on repeat for a long time. And I think that this relationship has been so bad for so long that this person says, just go ahead and bring it. I'll take all the karma that I have to take because it's so bad where I am now. I really can't imagine it being worse somewhere else. Fair enough. Um, this is someone who maybe didn't tell the truth for a long time about their feelings with the seven of swords there. Um, and this is someone who's having to be honest and it is not easy. It is not something easy to come clean about. And this may have something to do with this queen of wands energy up here. And this is someone who's having to muster up the strength to not only be honest with themselves, but to be honest with whoever they're in this commitment with. Oh boy. And they're probably gonna have to move with the Six of Swords. This is a tough tale, kids. And I have to be honest with you, I haven't wanted to record all day. There's been kind of like a heaviness. I went ahead, I saged everything because I was like, maybe we could just clear this out because this doesn't feel like I'm not in a bad mood, I'm in a good mood. But for some reason, this storyline is pretty, it's kind of rough. It's kind of rough and I guarantee you this is going to turn around. This is going to get easier for whoever you are, but right now it just seems pretty darn, darn rough, you know? Um, now I see that you're going to have to physically relocate here because of this decision and that this seems to be what you want to do. Um, and I feel like your stability, you're right. Your stability is going to return pretty quickly and whoever you've got your mind on over here with this queen of wands I, I do have the six of cups here and i have the two of cups over here and those are both soulmate energies and so i think that it i think you're definitely barking up the right tree yeah that is interesting but i think whoever you are you're trying to keep everything on the hush hush the down low here because you don't want everyone to know about all of this chaos that's going on in your life. And you don't want to bring any more drama into your life than what you've already been dealing with. Also gossip. You don't want to deal with that either. Darn it all, there's the four of wands under that. This may be, this is where I was headed with this star card a minute ago. This feels like divine counterpart energy. All right, let me have another deck because this is, I don't know, I just, there's the three of swords on the bottom of this deck and the ten of swords and the death card. Justice, somebody may be filing legal paperwork. So you got the ten of swords out twice, which is the minor arcana of the death card. You got the three of swords out there twice and you got the death card. So this is a final ending for someone. You may have gone back and forth and back and forth in this relationship for a long time. Again, this two of swords is someone who's taken a time out to think about things and I think you've thought about them. And this three of swords, this is where you're at today. This is on your mind today. And also trying to hold on to any kind of financial stability that you can while you move on from this. Oh boy. Um, I was just asking who about this Hierophant energy and I think whoever you've been attached to here or previously committed to, um, somebody has seen a truth. Some kind of truth has come out here with this Ace of Swords on its side. And it was something that I think that maybe you told half truths to this person. Um, and I, please don't think that I'm judging someone here at all. Um, 
I always say about the seven of swords, there's a lot of reasons people don't always tell the truth, you know, and a lot of times it's to, so they don't, can avoid hurting another person. But it seems like this has stacked up and stacked up and stacked up. And now somebody has to, to say, I'm not happy. There's someone else. And that's rough for everybody. There's a star card on the bottom of the deck and the lovers. Ay, I love it when you guys give me repeat cards. I really, really do. that Because it helps me identify which energy is the most important to your story. So we have the star card out there twice, Aquarius energy. And this is something that you are meant to experience. And I know that sounds horrible. I know we wouldn't wish this situation on anybody. But I always think of the star card as opening up Pandora's box. And when you do, it's the good, the bad, the ugly, the blessings, the, the pitfalls of everything that you set out for yourself on your life path that's going to teach you all the lessons you need to learn to grow into the person that you are meant to become. What you have experienced in this relationship that you've been committed to is very important. Um... The challenges and the good times are important. You were meant to experience them. This situation where you have to leave someone behind in a, in a difficult way, I mean, I think it's always gonna be difficult no matter how we leave a person behind. I, I think that's gonna be, that's a major part of your evolution as a human soul. And this next person that you're moving towards here is also very fundamental in your growth. Okay. I just want to know that this is going to get better. This is going to get better and it's actually going to get better pretty quickly. It's been bad for a while. And I think it's really telling the truth about this situation, telling the truth about how you feel, being honest, and making this decision to be on your own. That's what that Nine of Pentacles is. The Nine of Pentacles is someone who's very single, but it's someone who is also lacking in codependencies. Someone who says, if I'm being honest with myself, I understand that I have to let this go. This is someone who's telling the truth. Um, once you've done that, and this strength energy, Leo energy here, once that is exerted in you, it feels like that's when the changes start to happen for you. Then we have this physical relocation, then we have a return of stability, we have a return of financial stability. Um, whoever I'm reading for doesn't wanna to have to tell the truth about this situation to anybody else, not anyone in their family, not their community, not their friend group. And because there's a vulnerability here the fool under that good oh and there's the empress darn it all um because somebody here is still very tender somebody here is very worried about being judged for this um but this fool energy is someone who is starting a new cycle in their lives and it's not like a cycle like this with the ten of swords where it's like what did I say? Groundhog Day on repeat. It's not that. This fool energy is um, starting over after maybe a five-year cycle, nine-year cycle, 12-year cycle. Whatever you experienced with this other person, it feels like there's a refresh button, hitting a restart, a reset button. Okay. That's tough stuff, kiddos. And there's the Hierophant again. I think another reason why you don't want to tell people is because you know that a lot of people are going to say, don't do that. Don't do that. And, it, and I'm hearing somebody say, it's because they don't know what I've been through. They don't know what it's like. They, don't, they haven't experienced what I've been experiencing in this. Um, I trust you. I trust your judgment. I trust you to know what's right for you. And more importantly, like I said, I feel like I'm talking to someone who didn't make this decision lightly. You're someone who has truly prayed about this, like down on your knees and prayed. And that's sometimes what it takes for us to receive guidance. It's like 
prayer is like when you lose your keys, you always find them. It's the last place you look, right? Um, prayer oftentimes is when we're brought down to our knees and there's no place else to go. That is when we connect to that higher power. And it's sad to say, but it's true. I feel like I'm reading for someone who has done that. This may cause trouble for you at work. This may cause trouble for you in your family or your friend group. Um, and you are waiting to tell them until you feel like it's time. These people have seen what you've been experiencing, but, and there's the two of swords again, but they really don't know what it's been like for you. And so it's hard to explain it. There's the justice card again. You're going to wait until after you have filed legal paperwork. Truly, some of these folks, um, they are going to be pretty upset about this and they may say that your actions are unjustified. Um, I feel like some of you may be taking the full blame for this. It's okay. This is the happiest card we have in the deck and we got the Nine of Pentacles again. Um, that's the third time out for the Nine of Pentacles. Um, that's someone who you see the, the sun is the happiest card in the deck, right? It's Leo energy again. You may be um, feeling better at the end of summer. You may have your ducks in a row at the end of summer. It may be a little bit chunky, a couple of chunky months, months until we get there, right? But this Nine of Pentacles is someone who feels a lot of freedom in this independence. This devil, let's be real, you've got, so the lovers and the devil, very similar looking cards because we have the lovers down here at the bottom of each one and we have these two who are chained to the devil, right? Um, because they have to be. There's been a major commitment here with this hierophant. They've chained themselves to each other in this toxicity. The lovers are two people who aren't chained and they are blessed. Um, in this connection. There's a sense of freedom in it because the lovers, in the lovers you have a choice, right? Is this what you want? Is this the person you want? Are you all in? Are you all out? Make a decision. Here, there's really no choice. You're just chained up here and there's no place to go and nobody can reach the TV remote to change the channel. It's not good. whoever I'm reading for, your voice has been stifled for a long time. Um, you gave up trying to communicate because it caused conflict when you were honest. And it caused conflict when you weren't honest. There's just an awful lot. All right, tell me, so I've got this Empress Queen of Wands, King of Wands, Four of Wands situation up here um, at the top of this reading. You can't see it because the camera's too far up there. But um, the Four of Wands is our Twin Flame 1111 card. Um, speaks to divine counterparts. You've already got that with the Queen and King of Wands being a match. And I've got this Empress energy on here. So there's something telling me that somebody in here carries divine feminine energy and probably divine masculine energy. And divine counterpart situations are always difficult to get through. And that's why we have this star card out here because it's something that was divinely guided. It's never easy, but I feel like we have someone who's moving towards that. And there's the emperor, ta-da. We can all go home now. There it is. Oh my gosh, and I got the Six of Pentacles here. Um, these two feel the same way about each other. My goodness. Y'all are going to be starting a new life all over again with this Page of Pentacles. It's actually going to bring a lot of prosperity into your life. 
and it's going to be a lot of work and it's going to be kind of an uphill battle for the two of you because like I said, I'm not sure everyone is going to be real happy about this situation, but it kind of doesn't matter because... <laughs> I mean, it's kind of an undeniable connection you have here. You've got um, the Empress is Virgo energy, divine feminine energy. The Emperor is Aries energy. That's divine masculine energy. You don't have to be those zodiac signs to embody those um, qualities, but the Emperor and the Empress, they're pretty well established within themselves. They've grown a lot. They've been through all the things. <sighs> They've experienced a lot of life's learning lessons. And... I think this is a challenging story for someone, but once you get through it, you're going to be, first of all, surprised by the peace that comes with this independence. And then you're going to be real happy once you get settled in over here. And you're going to have to move. And once you get settled into your new digs, you're going to feel a lot more peaceful. Um, finances are going to start to improve pretty quickly. And it feels like the end of summer when you start to feel happy again, peaceful again, well again, enough to start opening up to other people. Now, as far as this divine counterpart energy goes, I don't know if this is a relationship you already have started. I don't know why, we, if that's why we have the Seven of Swords or if this is just simply you understanding that there is someone else out there for you. Um, with this Two of Cups and this Six of Cups, again, these are soulmate energies. That Four of Wands is soulmate energy. The Lovers is soulmate energy. And we have a lot of soulmates in our lives, right? There's, there's going to be a lot of people that you're meant to know, and you're meant to know them for significant reasons and significant times. A season, a reason, or a lifetime. That's what we say about soulmates, right? Um, this Divine Counterpart energy... I don't know, we'll have to find out how this story ends here, but it's clearly a match that's meant to happen in some way. But I'm sorry that you've been through this. Anything else you want to say about this? Oh, this was not something you were planning. Yeah, that's the truth. Nine of, Knight of Pentacles over there in the reverse. Um, you didn't plan on this. This wasn't part of an agenda. That's for darn sure. There's the Hermit again. Um, this is a very... Um, this is about your spiritual growth. Whoever you are. These um, divine connections will definitely bring you closer to your higher power. And they will definitely force you to let go of things that you have been dishonest about in your life or things that are toxic in your life. And they can be people, places, things, substances, activities, that just really runs the gamut based from person to person. And I'm reading for someone who has done that and man, you've been through it and it's not gonna get better for a couple of months, but it's just like every step that you take, every step that is authentic to you that you take, so every step that you're divinely guided to take seems to start smoothing this out for you. Um, and it really hinges on you being strong enough to use your voice and be honest here. All right, this is your reading for today. It was kind of a whopper of a tale, you know that? I wish you the very, very best if this is your reading and you feel it resonates for you. Um, golly. If it does, do um, let me know in the comments. I read all of your comments. Sometimes it does take me a day or two. I have a lot of children. <laughs> so sometimes I don't get to it. But um, I wish you the very best. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you are so inclined. And I will see you soon.